What is up, ladies and gentlemen? It's the Impact Lounge. This is BQ. Hope you're a subscriber. If not, please hit that button as we're uh, grinding away to 3,000 subscribers. So please hit that button. Summer of 2018, rumored contracts that are up. Eli Drake, Ethan Carter the third, and Bobby Lashley. We've talked about EC3 and Lashley at great length here on the channel and on the podcast don't want to beat a dead horse too much but my gut feeling even though it's not what i want by any means let me make that clear my gut feeling is ec3 is gone in the summer and um, i'm not going to really harp on that a whole lot more lastly i expect them to be gone not because um not because he wants to necessarily. Obviously, he has a sizable contract, and uh, much like EC3 does. But Lashley, as, as a shoot, has said he really is choosing between wrestling and MMA. He hasn't been able, been able to fulfill his potential in MMA. Obviously, there's more money in MMA. He's done everything he could do with TNA and with Impact. And I think it's safe to say he's going to move on. The guy is up there in age. Great performer. I'll miss him dearly. I'm a big fan of his, but I fully expect him to be gone. Now, Eli Drake, on the other hand, Eli Drake has gone on record to say he's fine being a big fish in a small pond as opposed to going somewhere and being caught up in the machine and just being lost in the sauce, as he says. So these are the kind of wrestlers we really want in the company to stick around. And obviously, he's the champion right now. I think the championship... And his reign could be booked a little bit better. Adam Adam has said on the podcast several times, and I fully agree, that it seems like EC3, I'm sorry, uh, Eli Drake, rather, is kind of a the, the side act in the whole Johnny Impact and Alberto El Patron feud. It, it seems like that's the feud, and then Eli Drake's just on the outside looking in, which to an extent, yeah, you want that because you want two people fighting over their opportunity uh, to take on the champion, but the champion should also feel a lot more important than he is. So let's hope this upcoming set of tapings in January, we see like a lot of growth in Eli Drake as a character and the reign. Hopefully we get that new title finally and uh, good things could come. I fully expect the, uh, Eli Drake to be back. I think he's going to be one of the big guys in the company moving forward. And the main event scene is super thin right now. But the main eventers they do have aren't in the main event scene. So they got to make a lot of hard decisions next year. Hopefully they figure out a way to bring EC3 back. Um, I, I'm pretty sure Lashley is going to focus on other things. And he keeps talking about big money fights with Brock Lesnar, whether it's wrestling or fighting. So, you know, re read between the lines there if you will. But Eli Drake is the one that we need to we need to keep him around. He needs to stay around. He needs to have a lengthy run, and uh, they need to cement him as one of the faces of the company. So, thanks for listening. Leave any comments below. Talk to you soon.